All right, guys. Um, so this is a uh, fan fiction AU that was voted on by you guys over on uh, my Patreon. And as always, if you'd like to join my Patreon, just hit the link below, head on over there. And you guys, if you just want to do polls and help with videos here on YouTube and also check out movie reviews, um, you guys can uh, just do the first tier. But if you want to see more stuff, then you guys can do like the eighth tier or the fourth or the, or the second or third tier or if you want to just get like movie you also want to get all that and send me requests for videos to do here on YouTube you guys can send me requests for videos here on YouTube if you hit the fourth tier so um, anyway so this one was a AU that was basically voted on by people over on my uh, Patreon and this one is a Pulp Hero AU. Now, this is one, admittedly, when I was going, when I posted, when I put this in the poll, I was like, yeah, this one's probably going to be the the uh, the winner. And yeah, <laughs> I was right. This one won by a landslide. There was others like Medieval, Gangster, Western, the Mad Max universe, um, even like a Stone Age and Western one, as well as a Marvel and DC AUs. But the Pulp Hero one really just took off. Like, the, that was the one that really, like, took off of all of them. So let's get started with this Pulp Hero AU. So the story focuses on our main um, character, who is Randy Cunningham. And Randy, in this continuity, is the Shadow. He is, um, he is our Lamont Cranston. So in this continuity, Randy was basically a um, heir to the Cunningham family's fortune... He, his family was mysteriously killed under, his parents were killed under mysterious circumstances and filled with vengeance, he traveled far and wide to learn what, what fear lurks in the hearts of criminals. And this led him to a ninja clan that trained him to be, yes, it is kind of like Batman's origin, but this isn't exactly like the Shadow's origin. But basically, he was trained under, um, the ninja clan and the uh, nosu clan and they uh trained him in their ways but he his there was too much anger in his heart so they had to like kick him out so uh, and from there he returned to the city uh, uh, to norrisville under the um guise of the shadow and as the shadow he more or less went head on against the major crime boss of norrisville hannibal mcfist who was the guy who killed his parents um, so, there we are. And also, Randy does have, like, a loyal crew of people who work under him. You have, um, Howard, who's, like, his right-hand man, his driver. You have, uh, Heidi, who is, like, a news reporter who also works for him and also has a major, um, attraction to the shadow. And you have Teresa, who is this young girl who was a waitress at a, at a, one of the bars owned by McFist and just got wrapped up in the shadow's world. Um... But as Shadow continues his uh, quest for vengeance on the, um, Hannibal, he slowly discovers that he's not the only, you know, masked hero out there. You have, for one, um, you have Marco Diaz, who, Marco from Star vs. the Force of Evil. In here, he's Zorro. Um, in this, it's a little different, because he's not born of the De La Vega bloodline. He was more or less, um, he took on the mantle of Zorro, after his family was brutally attacked and he lost several friends under the attack of several um, racist groups. So in order to protect those from, you know, from the hands of, you know, people who just, who are complete assholes and racists, he took on the mantle of Zorro because the title of Zorro had a lot of meaning in Mexico. So he took on the mantle of Zorro and became, um, this era's Zorro, which is kind of like, I should have mentioned this earlier, but this version of Zorro is, I mean, this air, this, this AU is more or less like a, you know, like a faux 20s, 30s era world. So there you go. Um, so following that, we have, as for other, like, uh, for another a AU, um, character, you have, um, the spirit who in here is dipper yeah dipper pines is the spirit and he is battling a the a worldwide criminal known only as the octopus 
However, he kind of know. He, even though he claims he doesn't know who the octopus is, he kind of does know because it's his uncle. It's Stan. Stan in here is the octopus, and Mabel is his uh, right hand girl and profession and professional assassin. Alongside Ford and Wendy, um, Dipper tries to battle his great uncle and his criminal empire that he's built under the guise of the octopus. Um, as the spirit. We also have... Um, uh, who else do we have in this, in this uh, little alternate universe? Um, oh, we have the Rocketeer. Who The Rocketeer is pretty fun because it's not who, who you think it would be. Or not who you were expecting. More or less, the Rocketeer is actually a girl. It's Anne. Anne Boonjoy, who is the Rocketeer. She actually got the uh, built, got the armor built from Hop Poppin, who who in here is like an old wartime uh, engineer who created the suit, the um, the Rocketeer jetpack and and you know gear. But he was basically too old to use it, and instead Anne used it in order to battle some Nazi spies who were trying to take it from him. Um, so she's the Rocketeer in this uh, continuity. As for others, you have, um, uh, who else, uh, who else did I have in here? You have, uh, Pen Zero, Pen Zero Part-Time Hero, who is the, who is the owner of a very wealthy and very powerful, um, media group that, that prints the top-selling newspaper in the, in the U.S., but by night, he's a little, he and his, um, his, uh, uh, how do I put this? His like uh, right hand woman slash girlfriend, uh, Sashi, go by different names. Yep, they are the Green Hornet. Yeah, Pen and Sashi are Green Hornet and Kato in this uh, continuity. You have, um, as for others, you have. Uh, oh, who else did I have in here? Um. Shit, it, it it left my mind. It it honestly left my mind as for uh, who else I had in here, but yeah. So those are really the major ones, and more or less these here these guys are more or less operating on different gra on different territories. But eventually these guys do kind of intersect and run into each other, kind of like if you've ever read the Dynamite Story Mask. So yeah, that's kind of where we. Uh, that's kind of the story. There's a little um. I want to put more to it, but this idea was more of like ha kind of half thought out. I'd love to come back to this one one day, like uh, like the old uh, like my uh, fairy tale story, which I did, my fairy tale AU, which I did recently bring back. But in any case, I hope you all enjoyed this. You guys, send me in the comments below what you guys think of this, and also thank you for voting for on uh, this storyline on this uh, AU. Hope you all enjoyed it. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.